What are we doing today? Um, I'm basically going to show you um, what we what we done tests for the 3D footage, and and here's my camera back. Okay. Ah. All right, cool. So we're basically going to be pulling those guys out. Yep. We're going to have two cameras. Okay. So those are HD cameras. Yep. That's great. And then we're going to set it up, and then we're going to start. <laughs> okay, so what Q is doing is he's setting up these two cameras, and in order to shoot 3D footage, you have to shoot with two cameras. So we're putting these two cameras side by side, similar to how uh, a, you know a person's eyes would be about you know as close as we can get them we're, together. They're going to yep. shoot at um, 1080p. Yes, and uh, it's, it's going to be it's uh, going to be high definition, high definition 3D. Yep. And the direction is over there, and right we're gonna there. have our partner. We're gonna have Raymond, Raymond, our uh, our lab tech in. intern. Yeah, who's gonna roll in? And uh, in the moment, Q and Raymond and I and Juan doing research. We found that uh, 25 feet away is an optimal distance for the kind of 3D that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Now we're we're not doing Avatar 3D. We're doing this sort of old school 80s yes, we're um, blue out. and uh, red glasses 3D. All right. So are we speeding? Yup, you ready my friend? When I, when I say come, you come. Okay, so now Raymond is walking towards the two 3D <laughs> camera, the two 3D cameras and he's crouching down. All right, it's good. Yeah, so, so we had to make our own. Right. And then we borrowed this gel mm -hmm. from our department, media. Yeah. From the department, so they give us a sum. Oh, yeah, the feeder department. Yeah, the us, feeder uh, department. So very easy. We just cut them out like a piece. Yeah. And just paste yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Tip yeah, it up, and then here we go. Took our two cameras, and we captured the footage into... Uh, into our iMac here. We're using Final Cut Pro. And basically what you do is you line up the two clips on the uh, the timeline and you uh, so you take the bottom clip and the bottom clip we want to make red um, because that represents I believe the uh, left eye of our of our 3D glasses. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we, we take the clip, we double click on it, we go to modify, and we go to composition style and add. And then from there, we put a filter on it, we put an RGB filter, and we bring down all the levels except for the red, so we leave the red. So basically, this is our red clip. And then we just do the same thing for the blue, blue clip. We modify, go to add, Put the RGB on, and you notice that this is sort of like, I guess it's a little green, but we're uh, we're leaving um, we're leaving mostly the blues left. And so, basically, from there, you put your 3D glasses on, and you can tweak from here. So, like when I put these things on, it actually look like it looks like it's 3D here. Um, but the crazier thing that we found, um, Juan, uh, one of our interns, had the idea of taking a clip that is not 3D and trying to convert it to 3D. So as we did, we took a clip, copied it, pasted it on top, slid one green, one, uh, I'm sorry, one blue, one green, and then uh, misaligned them. And what we found is that as long as there's a foreground object like here, it actually will be become three dimensional. So you can actually, through sort of very clever means, you can take two dimensional footage and create it and into uh, 3D. Um, it doesn't look quite the same. You don't have the quite the same depth. Okay, so this is our our 3D tests. What do you guys think? Is it is it looking 3D or? Yes. It looks. I did it. <laughs> That's our three D. <laughs> What's the difference between the the uh, real three D and then this manufactured one? Mm -hmm. 
What's the difference for you in the look? In the look, as you can see, uh, is where you see the clip, and it's showing the the two D yeah. picture image on the front. Yeah, it, it's more like towards to the front where you have this glass on, uh -huh. and then the the original footage is like deep inside, like you know. Oh, okay. You see. So it's really deep. Yeah. But there's less. Um, it's less. Uh, it's. It's more like two levels, right? Yes, it, it, it does showing the differences between front and back. You know, as you can see, yeah. it's showing that showing you the 3D uh, effect yeah. on the footage. Which do you like better? Um, I will I will go for the other one. That one. That the one, first one. Yeah, the first one. Which was the real 3D? Image. Yeah, that that one looks more like like realistic. You know. More realistic. Okay. Yes. Cool. Now, uh, for you, Raymond. Tell me about the difference between the the th real 3D clip and then this one. It has a 3D effect, but it's not the. It doesn't really look like real 3D, I guess. Yeah. It's more like a illusion, I guess. The thing closer to you looks more like popping out, but I don't know. It just looks like. Does it look like paper cutouts kind almost? Of, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like that too. Yeah. And then the the first 3D effect. How did you like that one? That one was better. It felt more like the real 3D. Yeah, it had more uh, depth to it, right? Yeah. yeah. I guess now what we'll do, guys, is we'll uh, we'll show the real 3D clip to everyone. Slowly coming. Try to squat down. Try to get your face right in the lens.